everybody, it's Kim Wilson back with our third card for September card class. And this card is going to be third. And I've been concentrating on fall this year. I just remembered to get my acorn out. Isn't that a cool acorn? I found that on my walk the other day. Anyhow, so I showed you some fall leaves and acorns. And now we're going to do some fall butterflies. Tidings paper, and when I saw this layout, I thought, oh, let's do it with the plaid paper. That'll be really fun. So um, some of you might wonder where I get my ideas, and I usually just see, see ideas online or in the Stampin' Up! catalog, or Stampin' Up! provides lots of ideas for us, and then I just go with it and uh, use it as a stepping off point for whatever I feel like doing. So I saw this favorite layout and I thought, oh that's, I like how it has the three three elements to it. So we'll do butterflies and then I thought, oh let's give a little texture to the back. So then I added in the, um, let's see what it's called here, the old world paper embossing folder. So that makes that kind of crinkly paper texture. So let's get started with this one. Okay, this one is a, a little bit smaller card than the standard card, and these are just the note cards and envelopes that they have in the catalog. And so because everything's already cut and scored and ready to stamp. So we've got our card, our envelope, and then we're just going to add panel of that. I, I've already run that through the embossing folder. So I'll throw that on the back. And it looks kind of cool on the back side too. So you can use whichever whichever side you want to do. It just looks like a, a really old piece of, of weathered paper. And if, if you want to distress the paper even more, um, you can take your scissors. And let me grab my scissors here. Um, do I have any other? Actually, this one right here, what I did, I did that to it. And you just take your scissors and kind of rough up the edges so you get kind of an extra um, distressed look to it. And uh, while I have this card here, you can see I used the same layout here. But this time I did the acorn and a couple of leaves. So I still have the, the trio, excuse the phone, the trio of interesting um, elements. And you could do that for Christmas, too, if you have, like, a Christmas holly or bells or whatever. So you can use that, that layout. And then you just have a banner with a sentiment in the center. So I've got my, um, my piece on here. And it looks like I did it the... So you can see it gives it a little different look to it. And now I'm going to stamp my banner. Um, let's see, I had a piece here because I wanted to show you how I made the banner. If you have the tailored tag punch, that makes a nice banner too. But we have this new new banner punch, which is very cool. So um, it has um, it makes either a tail or a banner. So you can and it, it different pieces you can different sizes you can make. Um, I like to when I run it through to turn it to the back so I can make sure that I'm straight when I punch it. So. There's a banner right there. And um, actually, I had one cut already that's a little bit smaller. I think I'll go with the, the smaller one. And let's see, stamp set. I'm using Banner Year, which is actually bundled with this um, new punch. So you can buy them separately or together as a bundle for a 10% discount. But I really like this stamp set because it has a whole bunch of sentiments from a lot of fall, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all the fall holidays, and even into, let's see, um, do we have a, oh, well, there's a treat so sweet, oh, be merry, you're sweet, so even into Valentine's Day, there's a Valentine envelope, and plus I love that little squirrel, I mean, he's just adorable. You can put on any of the critters there, and you have a cute little set that you might not notice in the in the mini catalog, but it's ready there and ready to go. Oh, I already had my stamp out. So I'm using With a Grateful Heart. And I'll just 
just grab out my soft suede ink since it's sitting right here, but really any any darker color ink will will be good. Okay, there's there's a grateful heart. So that would make a nice um, thank you note or Thanksgiving or whatever. So I might send that out to somebody that uh, placed an order recently because um, I like to send out thank you cards. And because this is so textured, I think I'm going to have to put some extra glue there to get that to stick down. Also, I could have um, put a um, dimensional under it too. That might have been a little better. All right, and now I've got my butterflies here. And you should have three butterflies in your little packet. And you can use whichever. I mean, take a look at both sides and see see which side you want to use. So we'll get a few butterflies on here. One down there. And Maybe I'll do different, be different, and put the the black plaid one, one up there. Let's see. There's my last butterfly. We'll do a yellow one for this one. And I like to um, bend my butterflies a little bit and then put my adhesive just in the center, um, just in case they can stay a little bit um, dimensional. I know when it's flat and in an envelope it might might not pop up but it kind of looks cool I think when the when the uh, wings of the butterfly look like they're fluttering and even though it's fall it is still time for the butterflies to come along and get a last uh, their last drinks and last bits of pollen to as they're migrating south so I have seen a few um, fall butterflies and then I took a marker I've got my um, early espresso here but you could use a black marker and just made a little bit of little tiny antennas there on my butterfly so they are ready to go so there's my butterfly card and my butterflies all ready to fly south for the winter, the ones that migrate. So there's, and there's the leaf card. And I think I had a couple more to show you. Yeah. Again, we're just doing simple stamping with the note cards here. And I used some of the fun images from the banner year stamp set. So I used the same exact layout. I've got my sentiment here and then um, my three images kind of spaced around just for quick, easy fall note cards. Happy fall, y'all. So that is it for the third card um, with the Banner Year stamp set and just a fun layout to play with. And I'm going to clean up this, and then in a minute I'll be back with the Christmas projects so you can see um, there's going to be a card and then a little notepad and matching pen and you can see how I did those. And of course, the handouts for everything are posted in the Facebook group where we're filming this video. And we'll see you in a little bit.